so GTA Online update removes more than 180 cars and bikes, puts some behind what? paywall. Oh, license? Mm, seems like not license, but subscription for GTA oh, good. Online Plus to get the things that used to be available. That's funny because like that's that's a that's a super big popular game with people who don't play other games at all. Yeah, so uh, basically, there's the uh, GTA Online Plus subscription that uh, they're taking currently available content away and locking it behind uh, that. Uh, nearly 200 vehicles have been removed from the regular sale of GTA Online, a move that Rockstar said would streamline the shopping experience. Uh, yeah, so um, it is... It is kind of, uh, it's, it, it's, it, this type of story is always one that is just like, it's hard to see anything but spite because it's not even like a new thing or anything current. It's just an old thing that has a very healthy player base that is still on it and it's still monetized in a way that, you know, is important to them. So you're going back to an older thing and you're taking a bunch of stuff that's been around forever and you're just going, maybe we can take this existing player base that's been around for years now and kind of fuck it over a little bit more. Fucking streamline these nuts. Maybe we can squeeze a little bit more out of you. Thanks for your loyalty is the vibe, you know? It's kind of insane when you see that happen for older games and content that's been around for that long, you know? Um, yeah. So... Uh, good shit. Good shit all around on that. Um, rip anybody who's out there in the, um, what is it? RP? Whatever. Boards? Whatever. L live Man, art. Wooly, fuck, like, you okay, we've had, like, the PUBG thing where we're totally out of touch and the Gary's Mod thing, and, like, the GTA RP thing was also something that I'm like, I don't get this at all. I'm going to look mm -hmm. into it. And I watched, mm -hmm. like, multiple hours of people streaming it, sitting there going, w w fucking, wh what the fuck is, I, I don't get it. I am all the way on the outside. I don't get it either. I've only seen it via live stream fails clips, and I suspect that they doing it are not also really fully enjoying it as much as the people watching the people role playing are enjoying watching it. It's, it's it. I don't. I get think it. it's like acting or putting on a show, and then people like watching you participate in the RP more than the RP being the goal itself. It's, but it's, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's so confusing. Like I do. I watched like a half. Like a traffic stop for like a half hour, yeah. like a just, like just a, a just a invented traffic stop sitting around, and it's like and like really mundane too, like really mundane. Cops and, like, and robbers. We still love playing cops and robbers. Yeah, but I I get the cops and robbers thing. I don't understand the cops and speeding ticket person. Can I hang out in my car while I pretend to check your license and registration? And but, you sit there listening but, to me. Why, what the but, hope, it's... but hopefully you sitting there will either speed off and then we get a chase out of it. Or we get a hilarious scene of you being super weird and funny and awkward while I write you your ticket. And both of these lead to some content. This, yes, this and, kind of... Mm, should I say something that that is going to sound stupid, but I think it's not stupid. If you have to ask, you've already decided. This feels like the video game extension of all those stupid kids who thought they had an imaginary friend. Go on. Do you remember when you were a kid and there were like other kids they were like, this is my imaginary friend. And you're like, are you a fucking idiot? There's no one there, you stupid, stupid child. Mm -hmm. And they were like, no, they're right there. And I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. You seem crazy. Do you remember that? Uh, I do. I do. Um, that, that this is their video game for now. Well, here's my thing, though. 
since you play MMOs, you've encountered RPing m clearly out in the wild much yeah. more often than I have. Yeah. You've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. You've talked to them and possibly even participated somewhat. I, I have friends who do RP stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's cringe. <laughs> so, in this case, instead of, you know, uh, Balbung, if I got that right. You did. Um, it's, you even pronounce it dead on. It's San Andreas. Yeah. Okay. And people who liked being uh, a black thug back in the day, people who liked to pretend that they were CJ and like they were like, wow, oh my God, I can't believe this is what it's like to have the experience. And I, I'm black and I'm gang banging with the homies. That I whole love the voice you're doing. It's yeah. really good. Because that's the kid who went, <laughs> oh my God, and didn't know, you know? That's the kid that fucking had that awakening the moment they got to play fucking GTA, fucking San Andreas for the first time. And they never forgot it. And we fast forward a couple of years and here we are. Right? I get to be black. This is what it's like. But I get to do it safely through the, through the lens of uh, my PlayStation controller. You know? At a safe oh. distance. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Is it not like that? Did I, I get it wrong? I don't know. Did did we are we not looking for the exaggerated swagger? Oh man, that quote's going to live forever, isn't it? That one's just Okay, well. And to those of you in the live audience who are saying, if my kid has an imaginary friend, I'll play along. I'll think it's stupid, but I'll play along. I'm not going to tell the kid if his friend ain't there or whatever. I'll defer to other people who had their imaginary friends. It's fucking stupid, though. Do you ever watch that imaginary friend cartoon? So, okay, so when you say that, I don't know if you're just talking about staring at a wall and just having an imaginarium. No, I Or believe, do you mean a real TV show? I believe I'm talking about, um... <laughs> it, it, I was, I was, it was, came out when I was older. Foster's... People are saying Foster's? Foster's, uh, home for imaginary friends. It That's was not, uh, okay. Yeah, it was. It was. It was younger than our time. It, it came out way after us. Yeah. No, never heard of it. It's a thing. It's a. It's a thing. I've heard of it, but okay. I, I've. I've never seen it. Was that strange of me as a child to go like, "There's no one there." Um. I can only. F I feel like I only <laughs> remember one kid that like did that. And he wasn't particularly, like, loud and obvious about it. It was more like, in conversation, he would kind of sometimes make reference to somebody mm -hmm. that just didn't exist. And it that was it, you know? Like, I'm vaguely recalling, and it was such a long time ago, like, but I'm kind of vaguely recalling someone that, like, yeah, he would just, it wasn't like, hey, come meet him or anything like that. It was just like, oh, yeah, no, uh, I was talking, I asked him about this thing. Or it would just come up as a little bit of a side yeah. thing. No, the, the situations I'm describing is like I was in kindergarten and they're like, this is my friend. And they would point to nothing. Yeah, no. <laughs> and like, can't you see him? Like, fucking no. No, I can't. You gaslighting me, child? I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, that that uh, that I remember early internet, the final Cal Calvin and Hobbes was one of the one of the early internet edits was just like uh, Calvin growing up and basically being like, eh, I'm not really interested in playing anymore, and then mm -hmm. Hobbes and then walks past Hobbes, and then Hobbes just turns back into a toy. And it's like oh, that. okay. And it just says the end and is like super fucking depressing from like whatever, like 2000s internet or even 1990s. Wait. 
Hobbs is a toy? There's a there's 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 a toy toy lion. Tiger. There's a tiger. tiger. Toy tiger. And then the whole thing is Calvin has an imagination, and then they go on adventures because he has an imagination. What? I thought I thought it was a tiger. I thought it was like a magic tiger that hung out with them and talked to him. And then what did you think it was whenever it was a little a little stuffed animal? I don't know. I don't I don't read Calvin and Hobbes. Well, I only then, I only Okay, well then there's your problem. <laughs> Well, there's okay, your, my wife well, is in Discord, like, being well, like, did you think Hobbs was real? How would he have your a pet tiger? I don't know. Clifford's a giant dog because he's magic. But if you turn the page and then Clifford went to being a stuffed animal sitting there, you'd be like, oh, well. Wait, I've read a lot of Calvin and Hobbes co comics and he was I never saw a doll. Okay, well, <laughs> yes, it's a... It's a story of, of a boy going on adventures with his imaginary tiger friend. That kid I, needs help. That's why he's pissing on the Nike logo. Is that why? Because, because you yelled, the tiger told him to do it? Because you yelled at him. <laughs> and you made fun of him. And you fucking, and you just, and you, you chastised him into shame.